Hello guys, this is Trinivas, the developer from the developer channel. Today we are going to solve the schema daily challenge of 11 June 2021. Here, this is the problem, matrix border, previous and next. The program must accept an integer matrix of size R class C and an integer K as input. If the integer K is present in the border of the matrix, then the program must print the integer in the border based on the following conditions. First, the program must print the integer k and then the program must print the previous and the next element of the k along the border. Similarly, the program must uh, print the remaining integer alternatively. If k is not present in the matrix, we have to print minus 1. Here, this is the matrix they have given and the border elements are Seventy four, twenty one, seventy seven, ninety five, uh, fifty eight, seventy three, fourteen, so uh, fifty four, twenty five, and then twenty five, seventy two, twenty two, sixty one, and thirty eight. We have to take this as a reverse order, and then sixty four, ninety four, ninety seven. These are the border elements. So I'm going to take those values here. 74, 21, 77, 95, 58, 73, 14, 54, 54, and then <clears throat> 25, 72, 22, 61, and then 38, 64, 94 and finally 97 and the number given is 54 right so I'm highlighting this with something else color we have to print the 54 first and then we have to print the previous and the next element of 54 first 54 and then previous element of 54 is nothing but 14 and then the next element of 54 is nothing but 25 and then 73 72 like that till we have to encounter the last element 74 94 and then we have to print the left out element 97 likewise here we have to take the value which is occurred first according to the matrix here the 54 is uh, occurred only one so we don't have to worry about anything but here the 76 is occurred twice right according to the table like we will get something Seventeen, fifty-five, twenty-four, twenty-six, thirty-four, fifty-eight, seventy-five, seventy-six, uh, thirty-four, twenty-one, fifty-one, fifty, twenty, and then finally seventy-six. Here we have encounter two seventy-sixes. One is here and the another one is here. According to this border matrix, the first occurred 76 is this one, right? Which is occurred here. But according to the given matrix, the first occurred 76 is in this position. For that, we have to define something called, we have to find the index according to the this matrix because this 76 previous element is 75 and the next element is 34 but they have taken this 76 which has the previous element of 20 and the next element of 17 here so if those values are in uh, what first row we don't have to worry about anything here the index of 17 is 0 55 
24 and 58 these are same right up to this after that the index of 75 is here uh, 1 comma 5 but here is 6 sorry yeah 6 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and here this is uh, 2 comma 5 here 7 it's just getting increment right 5 plus 1 6 6 plus 1 like like that after that here this is in a reverse order uh, but minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 like that we are going to follow the same logic like if this is present in a zero element we are just going to print the index directly if this is present in the last row we are going to get the index in a reverse order which uh, will which is nothing but the subtracted value from the total length if this is present in the right side of the corner we are just going to increment the column size plus 1 or plus i if this is present in the left side of the matrix we are just going to print the uh, difference between the total length and the i that's it guys here the given 19 is not present in this corner it's just present in the matrix but not in the corner so we have to print minus 1 let's see in a programmatical way where was my code yeah here this is my code editor first i'm going to get the value of r comma c r comma c equal to map of in comma input that split which will i'm going to take this 3 comma 6 first 3 and 6 uh, now it's time to get the list right list equal to list of map of in comma input that split for i in range of r we should get the list for r times right that's why yeah here this is the input and the k value is nothing but 76 right input just a single value 76 now we have to make the border matrix or uh, the corner elements i'm just going to stick with border it's just big right so moral border elements is nothing but copy of l of 0 here this is nothing but the colon copy which will create a separate memory allocation for this border element if I have forgotten to say this, we will get, sorry, this should be less, this right, list of 0, now, those things are sharing the same memory, border L, is this, and the idea of list of 0, also the same. So if I modify the border element, it will affect the list of 0. To get rid of this, I am just going to specify this colon operator which will make a duplicate or copy of this one or else we can use the copy function, copy of, I think this should be like this, yeah that copy 
method but I stick with this one so if I use this we can get the different memory allocation for this border element so it won't affect the original list here we got the border element now it will store the values in this array now it's time to get the right side of the matrix side for that i'm going to iterate from for i in range it will occur from 1 to r minus 1 which is nothing but this one we are not going to take care of the 0th index also the minus 1th index border element dot append of l of i comma minus 1 uh, I'm bad at naming conventions this should be list now it's time to get the last index right border element dot extend the of list of minus one in reverse order and then finally we have to get the last or uh, left side of the matrix so I am going to use a loop for i in range of um, r minus 2 comma 0 comma minus 1 because the value of r is 3 r minus 1 will give you 2 so we will take this value but we don't need this value right so if I specify 3 minus 2 we will get this 76 and we have to iterate up to 0 because we don't need that 0th element also because we have already defined that border element dot append of l of i and the 0th element come on I know you guys are screaming at me this is not l this is list if I print the border element we will get the values in a proper way I guess 17 to 58 58 to 76 and 20 17 to 58 58 to 76 and then 20 finally 76 now it's time to get the index of this 76 right for that I am going to define a function get index of border element if uh, yeah if k present in the list of zeroth index we can directly return the border element dot index of k or else we can use list here but I stick with border element otherwise we have to make a iteration here this is um, we should get those values in a in this direction right this one and this one so we need from one till the last matrix so I'm going to use a loop for I in range of one comma till R minus one if K in L of 
no we can't do that yeah we can do that if uh l of i comma zero like i of zero equal to equal to k you have to return c which is nothing but the column size plus i minus one no we should check the minus one right right after that left now it will give you 0 1 2 3 4 which is 5 which is nothing but the column size 5 plus 1 which is nothing but the index we have to take care of else we have to return len of border element minus i so this will return 76 for sure uh, finally we have to check the last index right so for that len of border element minus list of minus 1 dot index of k minus 1 that's it I guess so if I need <coughs> the first occurring element of 76 we will get p equal to get index of border element yeah this is not defined here because this is list So I print p, I get 13, and I print the border element of p. We got 76, which is nothing but the k value, and we got this 76 according to the index. Now we should check for the value 55. 50 and then 70, 75 55 50 and 75 k equal to 55 p equal to get index of border element if we print border element of p we should get 55 yeah we got it 55 75 the same process we got 75 we have checked 55 75 now it's time for 50 or else we can check this 21 k equal to 21 oops we just returned the 76 index so the I have must do something with this one len of border element which is nothing but the 30 13 minus list of last index so 13 minus 0 1 sorry 0 1 2 3 
will return something thirteen minus zero one two three three minus one four thirteen minus four will return nine and the ninth element of the border element is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, 8, 9 is 21. But why I am getting <coughs> 76 this time? Sorry. Yeah. Then of border element minus. Before that, I am going to print print of len of border element minus list of minus one dot index of k minus one and then the k value So if I call the function for the value 21, oops, this is not, happened. I'm still getting the value 76. I don't know why. Print of data from a K. Print of Lala, comma K. This is C plus I minus one. C plus I minus one me I think I have to print the list here. Why this tada? Okay, I should use a leaf here. A leaf list of i of zero equal to equal to k. Then only enter this block. Or else, yeah, if I do this, we will get this value. If I print list of P, sorry, bottom element of P, we got 51, but
so this should be minus 2 I guess if I <coughs> use k equal to k equal to 34 Yeah, we got 34. Now it's time to print the elements in an alternative order for i in range of len of border element by 2. Print the previous element of border element, which is nothing but print of border element of k minus k plus <coughs> i plus 1 index of k will be 76 k plus 0 plus 1 will give you 34 yeah we also need that right else the pattern is something else 54 54 previous element <clears throat> so this should be k minus 1 minus sorry k minus i minus 1 at the end space and then we have to print the border element of k plus i plus 1 with the end space list index out of range yeah when we encounter this we have to do this operation length border element so our list will be circulated we won't get this error anymore i think this should be p which is nothing but the index i have used the k so it will show you something crazy if i check the value for like if I change the value of k equal to 76 and p equal to get index of border element and then I have used the is it this loop we will get 20, 20 17 50 55 20, 17, 50, 50, yeah, that's it guys, and I, and we have get 75 for twice, right, so to get rid of this, we have to use this loop for, and by 2 minus 1 time, and we have cut out this 58, so if the len of border element is E1, sorry, yeah, is E1. We have to print a border element of P minus I minus 2 this time. So if I do that, we got 75. Here, this code segment is really nasty. So I'm going to make this value here all comma c equal to map of in comma input dot split and the list
um, now we have to get the looping statements It's already get too long, right? So I just copy pasting the values here. Okay, oh, that's enough. This is enough. List equal to list of map of in comma input dot split. For I in range of R and the border element is empty first. Yeah, I have to make a function for minus one, right? If mm, K present in border element. We have we can do these operations. If k is not present anymore, p equal to get index of border element. If k is not present, we have to print minus one. R comma c list border element. Now we have to fill the border elements function which cost literally four loops I guess Got element equal to list of zero copy mm, k equal to int of input and then we have to print the final loop for the border element. which will take care of the left side hope this will work fine it's time to check guys here I'm passing the input for this 54 And we got oops, I have missed the major point here. Before all this operation, we have to print the current element, right? Print of k. Now we got everything fine. And if I run this program for the second input, we got 76 till 75. Yeah, and I'm going to use this input also. Yeah, we got the proper output guys here. This is the code for your view.
so you can see the solution here hope you like this video guys uh see you soon it's tomorrow that's it bye